हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द लो लेवल डिजाइन ऑफ ए कस्टमर इशो रिजोल्यूशन सिस्टम मिलियंस ऑफ कस्टमर्स ऑर्डर गुड्स फ्रॉम एमेजॉन फ्लिपकार्ट और अदर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट्स एंड समटाइम्स देयर आर इशूज विद दोज ऑर्डर्स द ऑर्डर कैन बी डिलेड और कस्टमर में वॉन्ट टू रिप्लेस एन आइटम और देयर कैन बी पेमेंट इशूज सो दिस इज द केस वेयर ए कस्टमर इशो रिजोल्यूशन सिस्टम कम्स इन टू पिक्चर so basically our customer issue resolution system should assign customer issues to agents uh, who will resolve those issues and they it will also track agents work history we will see the exact methods as we go along so this is where the url for the question you can have a look at it yourself i will just explain the main parts of it so there are a few important things uh, uh, the first it defines what is a customer issue resolution system does and the type of uh, issues which we already discussed and important thing is that our code will be tested in a multi threaded environment let's go through the first method in it will be called only once per test case so it is sort of our constructor so let's go through uh, it has two variables issue types and helper so issue type example you can see uh, example wrong uh, it's an array so zero eighth element is wrong product received one element is order delayed two is cancel delivery and damaged product received helper has methods helper dot print and helper dot print tell for printing logs we will see how issue types is used in the upcoming section and basically only its indexed will be used and actual strings will not be used we will see the first method is the second method is actually create issue so it will have an each issue will have an issue id order id then an issue type and a description issue id and order id will be valid they will always be non empty uh, let's see this issue type so this issue type is an integer so let's suppose the value of issue type is 1 that means that issue type is issue type of for that order order is order delayed uh, so basically this is a this int is an index from that array now this method will return either issue created or issue already exists if an is, issue with issue id already exists or it's an invalid issue type if the issue type is not within the range of that array the third method is an add agent which will have two parameters agent id and uh, list of of expertise of integer so these are the two things that every agent will possess uh, agent id will never be a blank uh, for an example of an expertise can be like 013 and let's suppose the init method was called with this array which we saw earlier also so if the agent expertise is 013 so agent can resolve issues with issue type 0 that is wrong product received or order delayed or damaged product received however it should not be assigned and it cannot solve issues of type 2 that is cancel delivery 0 1 2 cancel delivery this method will return either success or if an agent with the given agent id already exist then it should return agent already exists the next method is assign issue and it is actually the core of this uh, customer issue resolution system there will be different strategies for assigning based on this assign strategy variable and issue id is for an is issue and it will not be non blank and this method should return either issue doesn't exist or issue is already assigned to an agent or an agent with expertise doesn't exist so let's see the example and the different st assign strategies so let's suppose the assign issue is called with uh, issue id issue 4 and assign strategy and, and variable if assign strategy is 0 then we assign an agent with lowest number of open issues that is we want the fastest possible work to start on this issue and if assign strategy is 1 then we want someone with experience with this issue type that is you assign an agent with most resolved issues of issue type in issue 4 and if assign strategy is 2 then it will be actually we just opposite of one we want an agent uh, with least number of open issues of issue type 4 uh, now based on these three strategy we can it comes naturally to mind that this question can be solved by strategy pattern and you will be right in thinking that it can be solved by strategy pattern now for 
any method call if there are multiple agents to which any issue can be assigned then you can assign to any one of them and also you have to keep in mind that you can assign a issue to an agent only if they have an expertise with that issue so let's suppose in the previous case if an agent has expertise with uh, like in this case their expertise is 013 so they cannot be assigned cancel delivery or that is uh, issue of issue type 2 the next method is resolve issue it will simply resolve an issue issue id will always be valid and there will be a resolution uh, and re resolution will always be done by the agent who are assigned the issue in the first place the next is the get agent history method so if the agent doesn't exist then you return an empty list or uh, else you return all the issue ids of issues which has been assigned to agent and now are in resolved state so next we will think our solution strategy and how to go through that one of the easy and important things to figure out whenever solving a low level design question is what are the entities involved and generally those entities or data classes will have their own managers to maintain the collection of entities for example in this solution class we have the method create issue and resolve issue so our first entity will be class issue and it will have a corresponding issue manager to manage all the storage and retrieval of the issue objects the second we have got add agent and get agent history methods so our second entity will be our class agent and we will have we will have a corresponding agent manager which will use to store and retrieve the agent objects for now do not worry about the assign issue we will discuss it in the upcoming section so we have got our agent class which is a data class and our second our issue data class and they are corresponding agent manager and issue manager let's go through the agent class agent class has got an agent id and list of skills now we figured this out from this method create add agent sorry add agent so it has an each agent will have an agent id and it will have a list of expertise which will be nothing it will be list of indexes from this issue types array the second other data structure which i have used in the agent class is the resolved issues for storing the agent's history now we have to see the simple methods that agent is initialized fetch resolved issues and add resolved issue id we need to we are using this variable resolved issues for this method get agent history next let's see the agent manager class do not worry about this agent skills map for now uh, we have this agents variable which is a concurrent hash map it will basically keep agent id versus all agent objects so all the collection of agent objects so this is our table we haven't used a hash map here because we wanted to uh, we are working in a, a multi-threaded environment and then hash map would have given us concurrent modification exception or it, it would have been corrupted that's why we didn't use it so basically we we have the important methods get agent and add agent which is simply write to this agents and read from this agents concurrent as map and initialize the agent manager do not worry about this get agent id for this or agent skills map for now the second is our data class is our class issue it has the variables issue id order id and description and issue type so we got these variables from this method create issue which has a issue id order id issue type and a description now apart from this i also added agent id resolution and status status i have kept internal to showcase whether issue is assigned unassigned or is resolved here is the issue constructor we could have used a builder pattern here uh, so that it was more readable uh, generally if you are using kotlin then parameter you can name give names for the parameters and that is more readable in this case i have used a simple constructor other methods are simple getters and setters and I have added is assigned and is resolved so that I do not have to expose this status variable and we do not want to increase 
unnecessary complexity for the classes which are using this issue object or issue class next let's come to the issue manager class this do not worry about this observe wall issues for now this all issues does the same thing as the agent variable there it is basically a table to store a collection of all issues issue id versus issue object again we are using a concurrent hash map and not a hash map because we are in a multi-threaded environment and we need it to be thread safe the methods are create issue resolve issue and get issue so basically create create issue will add the issue to uh, this map then we have resolve issue and fetch issue which are simple read uh, read and write operations from the map uh, nothing fancy here and then we need to ignore for now this assign issue attach and notify all uh, we will discuss it in the next section for resolve issue just figure out if the issue is there and uh, call the issues resolved method and notify all do not worry about notify all for now so we have two entities class agent and class issue let's go through the methods in the solution class uh, dealing with these entities so in initialize we just initialize the issue manager agent manager and do not worry about issue assigner for now we will discuss it in the next section the first method is create issue it simply calls the create issue method from issue manager what it issue manager does is it checks whether a issue already exists else it creates an issue object and puts it into the all issues concurrent hash map that's it the next is resolve issue so resolve issue fetches an issue from the issue manager which is a simple read operation from this concurrent hash map all is huge and then what it does is it finds out finds the agent object uh, which to which the issue has been assigned it also checks whether we need, can we resolve this issue or not if it is already resolved or if it is not assigned to anyone or issue not found then we simply return after finding the agent what it does is it adds the issue id to its resolved issues because we are going to resolve this issue now so uh, here we have used an error list which synchronized for thread safety we could have also used a concurrent link dq and that would have been slightly more efficient but here you can see in the get agent history method the return type is list of a string so we would have to there convert the our concurrent link dq to list of a string here we can directly return this array list so i have used this uh, array list here with a synchronized method it will be slightly less efficient for inserting the uh, issues in a multi-threaded environment but it will be efficient when returning the list of a fetching agent history the next is add agent so add agent is simply agent managers method is called checks whether agent already exists else it creates a new agent object and puts it into the table agents table this concurrent has map and do not worry about building this agent skills map we'll see that later the next is get agent history so it returns all the list of issues which were assigned to the agent and now they are in the resolved state so agent dot get resolved issues and it simply returns this array list variable so it is efficient in returning there next let's look at the uh, how will we assign the values agent ids now let's discuss the assign issue method we have got three strategies here and these three strategies 0 1 and 2 are affected by two things the first one is the type of the issue issue type and the second one is the status of the issue that is whether the issue is open or it is resolved open means whether it is assigned to someone and resolved means resolved as so we have got our agent assigner class which will be directly used by the solution class and there are three strategy classes one two and three which will be used by our agent assigner to return the or select the correct agent for a given issue what we are seeing here is the implementation of a strategy pattern all these three strategy classes implement the same interface agent selector which has a single method assign agent based on the issue type it is, uh, returns a 
एजेंट आईडी सो बेसिकली डजेंट एक्चुअली असाइंस द एजेंट इट ओनली सेलेक्ट द एजेंट आई डी द बेनिफिट ऑफ यूजिंग स्ट्रैटेजी पैटर्न इज दैट लेट से टूमोरो वी वॉन्ट टू एड अ न्यू स्ट्रैटेजी कोड नेम थ्री सो वी कैन जस्ट एड द कोड फॉर दैट स्ट्रैटेजी एंड पुट दैट ए easily integrate it with the agent assigner class let's see how the agent assigner works so basically it has a map it is a hash map which is assign strategy versus agent selector object so who are our agent selector objects these three algorithm classes are our agent selector objects so as you can see it what we will do here is we will assign the agent selector objects and then we will fill this map with with the based on the uh, assign strategy so let's go through this we are basically initializing all three uh, agent selector objects and what, then what we are doing is we are putting it against in the map with the key being their assign strategy assign strategy 0 assign strategy 1 and 2 and then again i want to explain you one more thing the second thing which was affecting the agent selectors was the status of the issue that is whether the issue was assigned or whether it was resolved also so what our agent selectors these three classes need to do is they need to observe the issues if any issue is assigned or any issue is resolved then they need to be notified of that so that they can calculate their data structure or uh, update their data structure so for this we need observer pattern here also apart from the strategy pattern so for the observer pattern uh, each of these three strategy classes are the observers so they implement the issue observer interface which is nothing but an updated method which will be used to tell the issue observers that dear observer this issue has been updated next we also need an issue object issue subject which will actually notify the job observers so the ideal class for being an issue subject is our issue manager because it has all the data of the issues and all the operations it takes care of all the operations of the issues so let's come to our issue subject which is our issue manager so here it has the list observe all issues which is actually an array list of all the issue observers so what it does is basically you have got two operations attach and notify all so in attach whenever attach is called just like we called above here issue subject dot attach and a, a issue observer then it simply adds that issue observer to this list observe all issues and whenever notify all, all is called then it just calls the updated method for that issue observer with the issue object so the issue is issue observer is notified of the issue in now notice that it is not telling the issue observer what has changed that is whether the issue has been uh, assigned or whether it has been resolved it is on the issue observers it is issue observers responsibility to figure out what has changed it just tells them that something has changed with this object figure out on your own so whenever assign issue is called it not calls notify all that notify the all issue observers and whenever resolve issue is called it calls notify all on all these issue observers it doesn't calls notify all on uh, after issue is created because issue of, it could call but issue observers will uh, ignore that anyway so i haven't used the notify all here but technically we can use it will just be ignored next we have got the a get agent for assigning issue method so what it does is uh, how this is the gist of how our issue assigner works so this is the met this method will be called get agent for assigning issue by the solution class so what it will do it will fetch the issue type and based on the assign strategy it will figure out a agent selector agent selector is one of these three classes from this map and call the assign agent method from there And that's all it will do now coming to the strategy classes starting with assign strategy equal to 0 which assigns an agent with the least number of open issues so the data structure in which it stores the data is it's an concurrent hash map of agent id versus number of open issues for that agent 
so it keeps this in a atomic integer we could have kept the count in an integer also which we'll see in other section uh, so atomic integer is also fine it takes slightly more space now how it it has two methods the updated that it it absorbs all the issues and it is up, updated when an issue status changes and also uh, it has the second method it assigns an agent which is the core method so whenever a new issue is issue update comes so it just checks whether it is assigned to not or to someone or not if it is not assigned to anyone it means this issue has just only been created and it simply returns else it initializes it and now if there are two things this this class strategy class has to track only the open issues so in case an issue is open then it increments one but what if the issue is resolved then we need to decrease it because now the issue cannot be said is not open anymore it is closed that is it is resolved so it decrements it that's what it does next its core method is to assign an agent so how does it assign an agent it gets our first criteria for assigning an agent to an issue id is the agent should have expertise or skill to solve that issue id it gets this list from the agent agent manager class we'll go just go through it then what it does it it's a simple for loop which goes through all the agent ids in this list and finds out the minimum the agent id with minimum number of open issues and if in in by luck we find an agent who has got no issues open with then we simply return an that agent id because that is our ideal agent now let's go through this we know that it needs this agent id list for a given issue type so here we come to this agent skills map this is sort of a reverse map uh, which is issue type and list of agent ids who have the expertise or skill to resolve that issue type so this concurrent link dq is nothing but a it is actually a thread safe list and it is more efficient than using an array list with synchronization or a link list with synchronization so in the constructor of agent manager itself we just initialize this hash map with all the issue types add a empty list in it now this gives us the benefit that we do not have to actually lock this hash map, hash map while we are adding agent and we did it as soon as the system was initialized so we saved on the synchronization here which is which is costly now during adding agent we build this agent skills map after adding the agent we go through all the skills of the agent then for each skill we fetch the list list of agent ids for that skill or the list of agent ids who can solve that skill and that then add this agent id to the, those list that list of agent ids which is this concurrent link this queue that's how this agent skills map is built so this and while when we are asked to return this agent id we simply convert it to a unmodified collection collection we fetch the for the given issue type we fetch the concurrent link dq and convert it to an unmodified collection and return it so this is how we get this list next is assign strategy one and it assigns the agent who has resolved the most given issues for the given issue type so it does that now we have to track not only the agents with most resolved issues but for the given issue type also so we need a two level hash map here the outer hash map will keep track of the issue type versus the all the key value pairs of agent ids versus the number of issues they have resolved so we are keeping the resolved issue count in an atomic integer here and in the constructor itself we have initialized the outer hash map completely because you already know all the issue types the benefit for that is uh, we do not need to lock this hash map any time now uh, whenever we update the uh, update any issue is updated we get and we get that update so this we are saving on the synchronization locking here now whenever an issue is updated 
then we check whether it is resolved because this strategy class only keeps track of the resolved issues if it is not resolved do not worry just ignore it else get the inner get the inner uh, key value pairs of agent ids and the number of issues resolved by them initialize if required and add to one and return that's all it does just add one to all the resolved issues because anyway resolved issue is the final state of the issue the core feature which is the assign agents we get list of all agent ids versus the number of issues resolved by them remember we need to return the agent id who has resolved the most issues we again fetch list of all agent ids who are uh, who have the skill to solve that particular issue type why we do this why don't we use the agent ids from here because remember this gets built with time as agents resolve more and more issues so when the system starts this map will actually be empty so we act, this method gives us the list of all agent ids with the skills so here from here we get the list of agent ids and then we just go through all the agent ids and choose the agent with the most number of resolved issues and return it the next assign strategy to it assigns the agent with the least number of open issues for a given issue type earlier one was assigning the agent with most number of resolved issues for the given issue type here least number of open issues not resolved so again we have a two level hash map here the outer hash map keeps track of the issue types and inner hash map is agent id versus number of issues open with that agent id for that given issue type and in the constructor again we initialize our uh, this outer hash map uh, because we already know all the issue types and we save on synchronization here uh, we could have also used a concurrent hash map here but that would have uh, been slightly taken slightly more space as compared to a hash map so we saved on both synchronization and made it a bit more space efficient using hash map we could have used an array here also that would have been even more efficient now whenever we receive an update so we check whether issue is assigned to anyone if it is not assigned it is only created then we return else we fetch the uh, key value pairs that is the agent id versus number of issues uh, open and then what we do is this is a slightly complicated syntax as compared to the atomic integer which we saw in previous strategy class because here we are using a integer so we need to use the compute method from the concurrent hash map we use that and this next value if the issue is resolved then we, we need to reduce one from it why because when it was open it we increased our value when the issue is resolved then we, it is no more open so we need to subtract my uh, subtract one from our count or count from the agent id next assigning agents we again get the list of agent ids which is a complete list of agent ids and we get the key value pairs of agent id versus number of open issues go through all the agents and choose the agent with the minimum number of open issues that is how this algorithm works now that we have completed our solution let's test it in the code gym environment control a control c and open the code gym website third question uh, let's paste it here control a control v and run it so scroll slightly down and actually i wanted to show you one thing yes this gave an error duplicate interface definition for this interface so what happened was this bottom code was commented earlier and i need to i i had to uncomment it in my local editor uh, because i needed the uh, autocomplete and i do not wanted to avoid the compilation errors so what we need to do is we need to comment it back so let's just comment it back and run this again and see that it compiles successfully so again we have we are running the sample cases and yes there was one sample test case and it has passed so let's submit it for complete test execution i will be putting the link to blog which has this code in the comment section and in the uh, description section as well uh, see the first comment and i will also be attaching that link in this question itself here right here now we see that all our test cases have passed in 14.5 seconds now the benefit 
of seeing your code run and pass all the test cases is that it will give you the confidence that okay i have done this question now if i get this or a similar question in an interview then i will be able to do it and that is a great thing to take along with you in an interview the confidence and this was all for now i wish you the best of luck in your job interview preparation and i hope that you get a much higher compensation uh, going ahead uh, thanks for watching best of luck again